good evening. Um, I'm the CEO of Mission Bit. My name is Steve Monaco. Uh, I just want to start this with a quick poll. Uh, so I was born and raised in San Francisco. I'm a third generation San Franciscan. Who was born in the Bay Area? Who grew up in the Bay Area? All right, keep your hands up if you went to public school at high school. All right, keep your hands up if you took a computer science class when you were in high school. All right, so we got two hands. Um, the organization I run, the sole focus is to expand computer science education in low-income schools of color across the Bay Area. Right now, we're mainly focused in San Francisco. We're trying to build out to um, the greater parts of the Bay Area. And I want to give you an idea of some of the things that our kids build. Let's play Super Mario. <laughs> okay, tapless. Uh, the objective in Mario is for Mario to save the princess. So this was made by a group of 14 year old girls that thought the princess could save herself. <laughs>
So in 2015, no African Americans took the every computer science class, 2014, 2013. I found out about this initially when I ran for Board of Education in 2014 and read a report in the New York Times that said no African American kids in the state of Alabama took the AP Computer Science exam. So this continues to be a large issue that even, even though the school district is trying to address now with um, expanding CS education from K through 12, the talent to actually go into the classroom with kids to really get an idea of what it's like is still incredibly limited. We also have like teacher work uh, shortage. So, you know, with Mission Bit, we have a three-part strategy of engagement, exposure, and employing. We want to get kids in front of this learning opportunity. Uh, we engage them over semester one courses. And the idea is that they enroll in college as CS majors, or they can enroll directly to a coding boot camp if they want to start a career. Um, the last piece I want to talk about, we don't get a lot of pushback about, you know, why do we emphasize career education, we emphasize college entry and career education, going to hack reactor, um, you know, another another dev boot camp type of opportunity is because the overwhelming majority of our students go to city college. And if you look at um, enrollment in the city in English and math for college level, you see that college level English for the high school that I went to, no kid that graduated from high school this year placed in college level English. And only 50% placed in college level math. The average graduation rate from City College is eight years for a two-year school. Only 11% of African American students that enroll actually finish at City. So we're funneling a lot of young people into an institution that isn't well positioned to serve them well. Meanwhile, we have these jobs in our main field and you know, a real need to employ people. So we should be just trying to solve this problem. Uh, right now, like I, like I was saying, um, we're in six locations. We've been, our current enrollment is 50% female, 25% Latino, 16% African American. Uh, we're looking to come to more cities across the Bay Area. So if you're a part of an engineering team, and you want to help facilitate the start of a new class in the area that you live in, there's probably a public school that doesn't currently have computer science uh, that you probably seen on your way to work. Uh, and we can start building learning opportunities there. So we can't do this without the tech community. Uh, we partner with colleges and tech companies to, to see this expand so we have you know, more girls saving themselves. So thank you. So could you explain the disparity between English skills and math skills? Because you got basically 9% qualifying on English, despite Lowell High School, <laughs> and you have 29% qualifying on math. And mo in most of poor America, those numbers are reversed. Mm -hmm. So can you speak to that a little bit about what's special about San Francisco? Yeah, so we so as we read that, he asked about why is the disparity, why, I guess why more people are qualifying for math than English. Is that what's being Yeah, question? and a lot more, right? Like yeah. at least three times, right? Yeah, yeah, well, well, I mean, really something's wrong with the test. That's really like what the issue is. And the, if, if, the, um, if the disparity, if not, if only 9% overall are enrolling in English, the, the standards that's being set for graduation in high school is grossly different from what people expect when they run to the city college, like the standards are online. And when people, when young people enroll, enroll in the city college, the mentality that they take when taking the test is very different from, um, you know, a high stakes exam. People often go in the city, you know, they kind of do it casually, and they may not do a test more than once. They may only do it once, and if they do it twice, they're just going to groups. So there's been a lot of reforms introduced around how to solve that, but currently, you know, this is not kind of happening. So the reason why I bring up this difference is because most young people that go from SFUSD in the city will start four years behind. So they get to four, four years of city college, out of four years of high school, just to be college level. And so you're 22, living with your parents, working a subway, right? You probably start taking classes part-time. 
Um, and so the, the time that it takes to finish extends tremendously. Um, one of the statistics that you showed was that the third good master, only one CS course was offered. Uh, so it seems availability of courses is an issue. Uh, if there was adequate availability of courses, what would be your target participation rate from African Americans? Yeah, well, so availability of courses is currently an issue um, at a lot of the, our school sites where we have a high level of courses. Those courses require a lot of prerequisites. So they're not necessarily initial courses. At low high school, we have like, uh, what is it? Yeah, we have nine sections at low. Low is um, the most prestigious high school, public school in San high school public school in San Francisco. A lot of those courses require that you would take a calculus or um, some other math prerequisites in order to enroll. What we want to see happen is multiple sections increase for an intro level course and that the enrollment of each course mirrors the actual demographics of the school district. So if we have five new courses but it's still all Asian boys, we're not solving the problem. So you mean basically the preparatory work participation also should be there to that level so that people prepare for higher and higher level of uh, learning? Right, right. Yeah, so we want, we want to see every computer science course mirror what the actual school district is. To give you an idea, San Francisco school district is 30%. 30% Chinese, 25% Latino, 8% um, African American. You know, in the 70s, San Francisco was 17% African American. Now it's 4% African American. To, to achieve that, what kind of resources would you need in terms of participation of the tech community as well as the schools? So the school, the school system has a different problem to solve. Well, we can do it more immediately. We can start a course next week. And, and because we know how to connect with the community, we know how to enroll kids in our courses. So as a systems wide change, it requires development of teacher pipeline so people can go in knowing the skills and uh, an enrollment strategy so that kids feel comfortable taking a class that we've not considered before. I'm gonna jump on to a couple more questions. Sorry, that's actually all the time we have. But